Welcome to Highline BI 348 class video number 39. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, BI 348 chapter 2.5, import 9. And be sure to download the text file that we're going to import and the regional table from an Excel file that we're going to import. Now let's go look at those two files. Here they are. This one is the transaction table. And I want to double click and open it up. And this one is the lookup table. And I want to open this up. Here's the two files. Now this is the transactional data. We can see date, sales rep, product, discount units, and net revenue. I do not see a region column. And our ultimate goal here is to add up all of the net revenue for each region. Now what would we normally do in Excel? If we had both of these tables and they weren't gigantic data sets, we would just add a VLOOKUP helper column. And notice, we are going to look up, it says sales rep. We're going to look up each one of these sales reps over in the lookup table. Now remember, the characteristic of a lookup table, this first column, control down arrow. So there's like 72 sales reps. But this first column is a unique list. There's exactly one listing of each sales rep. And then it lists the region that they're responsible for. Now in this video, we want to see how to import both of these and replace VLOOKUP. Now VLOOKUP is fine when you have the data in Excel and it's not a big data set. You just add that extra column. But if we're importing it and there's some other options available to us, especially if you have big data where an extra column with hundreds of thousands of rows would really add some extra expense in terms of formula calculating, then these two methods are awesome. And the two methods are going to be, one, we're going to import both tables into the data model. And in 2013 or later, when we open the Create Pivot Table dialog box, both tables will be there and we'll be able to add a relationship. The relationship will be between sales rep column in the lookup table and sales rep in the sales transaction table. The second method will be import both tables into Power Query and then merge them. Now, Power Query uses the word merge to mean you have to have a column in each table that are related. Sales rep is related. And when we click Merge, it will automatically create the helper column to simulate VLOOKUP. Now I'm going to close both of these files. Now we go to Power Query from file. And the first one we're going to import is from text. Now I'm navigating to where I downloaded this import 9 sales table. Double click. It's a text file, so it pretty much should interpret it correctly. It imported headers and changed the data types. We could quickly check each data type to see that, sure enough, it got all of them correct. We can simply close and load to. We're not doing a table. We're going to say only create a connection and then come down and say add this to the data model and click load. So we have 10,000 records loaded there. Now we need to go get our lookup table. Power Query from file from Excel. There it is. Double click to import. In our navigator pane, we select region table. I'm definitely going to come down to the bottom and click edit. I need to promote these headers. So I come up to the upper left-hand corner and say, Use first row as headers. I can check the data type for each one of these. Looking good. Now I can close and load to not a table, only create a connection and down to add this to the data model and load. Now both of those are in the data model. I can close this. And guess what? I can create a pivot table. Insert pivot table or Alt-NV. Use external data source. Choose a connection and tables. And unlike earlier when we accessed the tables from the Create Pivot Table dialog box, we had only one table in earlier videos. Here we have two tables. So I'm going to click on Data Model and Open. Click OK. And sure enough, look at that. In the Pivot Table field list, we have two tables. Now we're going to run into a problem. 
but it will only be temporary. Now what I want is from the region table, I want to drag region down to rows. And instantly, I get a unique list. Now I come up, and my goal is to get that net revenue. So I drag it down to values. And whoa, it's the same duh, 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 number all the way down, which is actually the total. And the reason why is there is no relationship between the sales rep table where we have region and the transaction table. But no problem. Over here, if we try to drag and drop fields from multiple tables and there's not a relationship, this will come up. Now I'm going to click the Create button, but I also want you to note that next week when we do Power Pivot, we won't have to do this step here. We will actually automatically be able to create relationships between the tables however we want. We won't rely on the Pivot Table user interface. But if you don't have Power Pivot, we can still pull data from two tables by clicking Create. And the trick is, is that the related table is the lookup table. And one way to remember is that if you have a lookup table, that first column has to have a unique list. And if you remember from our study of access all the way back in Business 216, the first column of a table with a primary key, well, it's called primary because a primary key means a unique list. So that's the way I remember. It says primary. I'm like, oh yeah, that's the unique list in the first column of the lookup table. So I'm going to click the drop down. And this one has to be that region table. That's the lookup table. Then we select the field sales rep. Now we come up here and get our transaction table, which is the sales table. And it will automatically populate sales rep from that column. Because remember, if you're doing VLOOKUP, we're looking up the sales rep here going and finding a match in the unique list in the lookup table and going to return the region. So when I click OK, that is amazing. Instantly, because there's a relationship between these two tables, I'm allowed to drag and drop fields from both tables. Design, report layout, show in tabular, right click, number formatting, currency. I'm going to keep it as two decimals and click OK. So that's one way to import two tables into the data model, create a relationship, and be able to drag and drop fields from both tables. Now I want to actually go over to a new sheet, create a new sheet, and call this RR for Regional Report. And I'm going to call this Regional Report Power Query Merge. And actually, I'm going to come over here and properly name this one. And I called it Regional Report Data Model Relationship. It's not long enough. I can't type relationship. So we know that both of these reports will be exactly the same, except for we will simulate VLOOKUP in different ways. All right, well, let's do Power Query. And guess what? If we had not already imported both tables, we would have to do that step. Get the one from text, import it as a connection only. Import it from Excel import it as a connection only. Now in both cases, if I were to do that and I wasn't using the data model, I would not check data model. But watch this. If we go up to Power Query now and show pane, we can see that there are two connections there, one and two. So we can go up to Power Query and merge. The first one's going to be our transaction table or our fact table. I'm going to select the sales table, and there it is. The second one's going to be our lookup table, region. And notice sales rep, sales rep, you simply click. I am not even going to hold Control. I'm going to click on the second one. And down here, it even tells you that it found, in essence, did a VLOOKUP and found a match in all of those. When I click OK, what's going to happen is it's going to ask me, which column do I want to add? And we're going to say region. And just as if we had done VLOOKUP, it'll magically add the column to this first table. So when I click OK, we'll see the editor. Notice it says table because that sales rep table has multiple columns. I'm going to click this Expand button, and we're going to use it a slightly different way than we had in earlier videos. I'm going to uncheck everything. And the only one I want here is Region. And when I click OK, I have simulated VLOOKUP. Now I can double click the column header and call this Region Enter. I'm checking the data types for each. 
It's looking good. And finally, date. Now, when we close and load this, I can choose to load it as a table in the workbook or as a connection and then use the pivot table to access it. But I'm going to load this one to the actual worksheet as a table on the existing worksheet A1 and click Load. Now, immediately, some of you should be screaming, especially if you watch a lot of my videos, because I just violated a very important rule in efficient computer use. I forgot to give this a good name, so I'm going to right click Properties. And I'm going to call this, I always give it a ridiculously long name that tells me exactly what I did here. Import sales and lookup tables and merge into one table. Click OK. That's a much better name. Now I can click over here, Alt and V, and I'm going to put the pivot table on this, this sheet here. Something like I1, click OK. Scroll over, and this one will be easy. Region down to rows, revenue down to values, design, report layout tabular, right click, number formatting. And we'll add something like currency. Click OK. Wow, and look at that. We got the same exact pivot table report pulling fields from two different tables when we used Power Query and Merge as we got when we did data model and relationships. All right, so in this video, we saw how to take fields from two different tables and make a report using two different methods. Hey, this is the last video for chapter 2.5. And what do we do in this chapter? We learn how to import, clean, and transform data. We got our hands messy with data, which is really what you have to do out there in the working world before you use that data to create reports and do analytics. Hey, next video, we'll get to see the basics of a new add-in for building data models and creating reports called Power Pivot. All right, we'll see you next video.